What is going on guys, it's Declan here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the cargo bob set as your personal vehicle in Grand Theft Auto Online. So for anybody who doesn't know, you can't actually get the cargo bob as your personal vehicle in Grand Theft Auto Online because you are unable to purchase it from the Warstock Cash and Carry website. But with this glitch, it does enable you to purchase it and the only real downside is that you do need around 185 grand in the bank to actually get this to work. Anyway, before we continue, I do want to apologise for my croaky voice today or my voice sounding pretty bad because I am actually quite ill today and I shouldn't really be making a video, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to get on and make a video for you guys anyway. So my apologies if my voice is off. Nevertheless, guys, if you do go on to enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like. It really does help out. Once again, can we shoot for something over 400 likes? That would be amazing. And with that said, let's begin. So, starting this off, the first thing you want to do is go into any public session, and that session has to have a good amount of players in it. I would suggest around 7 players minimum, as having more players in the game definitely increases the chances of this working out. So as you can see there, I do have a good amount of players in the game, and from there guys, what you want to do is just simply enter your garage. So, once you were inside of your garage and you were in a decent sized public session, what you then want to do is bring up your phone and go to the internet. Now once you're there guys, what you want to do is simply go over to Money and Services, then click on Maze Bank, and what you then want to do from there guys is withdraw or deposit enough money into the bank so that you have around $200,000 in the bank. Try not to go too much more or too much less, as long as you are generically around the $200,000 mark then you will be fine to carry on with this glitch. And as you can see, the bottom money counter is the, the bank one, so the top one is your cash in hand and the bottom one is the bank, so just make sure that the bottom one is generically around $200,000. Anyway, from there, what you want to do is simply hit the home button at the top of the page, then go down to travel and transport, then click on war stack cash and carry. Then from there, what you want to do is go ahead and click on the rhino tank and then hover your cursor over by it now. Now here is where the tricky part comes into play and here is where it can kind of mess up. And um, I don't really know what the problem is, but I had, I think it took me around four tries to get this to work perfectly. And then I got it to work two times in succession. The first time I wasn't actually recording and the second time you're actually seeing now. So uh, yeah, this is how you do it. I'm going to try and give you guys a few more tips here and there just to see if you guys can get it to work in succession. Nevertheless, whilst you are hovering over by it now, what you want to do is hold down the start button and hold it down. Do not let go, guys. And what you need to do, guys, is as soon as you let go of start, press the A button at the exact same time. So what should happen is when you do this, you should see a background. In fact, don't worry if you do see the background or you don't, because sometimes you don't and sometimes you do. I'm not entirely sure if seeing the background actually helps. It did work twice for me when I did see the background and when I did it, it didn't work, but I've seen other YouTubers do the same without the background. So don't worry about that. If you don't see the background and you just see the generic pause menu, then carry on with the glitch as you're seeing it now. And it should still work fine, I guess. But um, yeah, what you want to do is once you're here, simply go across to online then go down to leave gta online what you want to do from there is simply press the start button once now at this point you should be on the insufficient funds menu and once again we're going to be doing the exact same thing so hold down the start button for around five seconds and as soon as you let go press the a button as quick as you can now it should put you onto this menu from here go to online and click leave gta online as fast as you can now don't worry if you don't see the background image once again just continue on with the glitch as you're seeing now but you have to be really fast there guys if as soon as the start menu pops up you have to be down to leave gta session as fast as you can otherwise it will just say play gta online meaning that you have been too slow and you haven't done it so once you've done that just simply back out of the game store once it transitioned you to the game store and what should happen from here is it should spawn you down into a session now depending on what character you are as you can see now i am spawning down as trevor and what will happen is is it will bring up your phone and the raw stack cash and carry menu will be up and as you can see the cargo bob is now there and it is currently priced at 2.2 million Simply click on the cargo bob once and then wait for your multiplayer money in the top right corner to pop up. So as you can see it has now popped up, then what you want to do is simply press the B button and once you scroll down as you can see the cargo bob is now priced at 185 grand. Now from here guys simply hit the home button, then go to travel and transport, then go down to watch that cash and carry, then click on the cargo bob and now you are ready to purchase it. And as soon as you purchase it, guys, it will be in your Pegasus contact. Now, it says purchase failed. You have already unlocked this vehicle on my screen. Because like I said, guys, I actually recorded this twice. And the first time I wasn't recording. So, we already have the cargo bob set as the Pegasus vehicle. Whereas, if you guys don't have the cargo bob yet, then it will say purchase confirmed. 
and then you have successfully purchased the cargo bob so all you have to do from there guys is simply click find new session and once you eventually do spawn into that online session you can ring up pegasus and you can call for a cargo bob which costs around 200 dollars and now you have the cargo bob as a pegasus contact so you can ring it up at any time and request your own personal cargo bob Nevertheless, guys, that is pretty much it for the glitch. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope I explained it well enough. It is really hard to explain, and the glitch can generally be uh, quite tricky, but um, just keep trying, and you will eventually get the hang of it, and you will get the cargo bab to actually be your own personal vehicle. Only downside is you do need 185 grand, like I said. Nevertheless, guys, that is pretty much it for the commentary, so if you did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like, guys. It really does help out. Once again, can we shoot for something over 400 likes? That would be amazing. Also, guys, if you want to go ahead and follow us on Twitter, you can do that at 2 Dynamic HD. We're always trying to interact with you guys on there and keep you up to date on what we're going to post next. And with that said, I will see you all in the next video.